Hey everybody, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here. Real quick video, I've had a couple of questions or some interest on uh, especially uh, one of the actions from my Posta di Dona Altera video um, concerning the Reverso Mezzano. So I wanted to show that. Uh, somebody was asking me, one of my subscribers, about like hand protection and if I was kind of like snapping the cut in or coming all the way around. So we're going to get into that. Luckily I have the day off uh, to go do my civic duty. Very important to vote regardless of your political beliefs. Go out and vote. So got that done. Time for some video. Okay, so um, the action that he was wondering about, the subscriber and a couple of other people as well, uh, was when I was actually in this guard and I have my right foot forward in here. You can't really see my feet because of the camera angle, but he wanted to see it from this belt. Um, and this, when I'm here, this is a little bit more like the Joko Villano cover, but where I throw the attack from is basically Posse Dona Altera. And uh, what I do is, yeah, I do kind of snap it in here, but then I like to make sure that I have a nice arc with the cut and really traverse the middle line. And as you can see, that has quite a bit of power without me really trying, honestly. So this action comes from a conversation that I was having with Federico Malaguti because I was saying that I landed this action from this guard and with the reversal pendente, but I changed it kind of in the moment to be a little bit more flat just because of the angle of my opponent's sword. And that was with the true edge, and uh, I don't think Fiori would have any problem with that by any means since I uh, probably cut pretty well into my opponent's elbow if this were a real sword fight. Uh, but he does say that uh, Mizani coming from the left should be with the false edge. Um, so this is what came up with the conversation with Federico. And the thing here is, you actually get a tiny bit more range with the false edge. If you notice, it's not a ton, but because my arms aren't crossed, I'm getting a tiny bit more range on this, and I'm not leaning forward with my body or anything like that. I think it also gives your hands a little, and your arm too, a little bit better cover because everything's underneath. Um, so that's why I was playing with doing the reverse Mezzano. So when I put it into this action, once again it was from Dente de Ziangaro, so as you can see I took a step offline with the beat, and then an oblique step offline with my left foot, and then I was doing reversal tendente, and then I was going kind of into this Joko Villano cover, and I just took a, I guess you could call it an acresere, but it was out, and uh, then I throw the reversal mezzano with the false edge, and I do kind of snap it in here instead of going all the way around, but it has to come around the head. And I'm actually pivoting on my left foot and swinging the right around. So let me show that again. So, Zingaro, Reverso Fendente, one little step out into this cover, Posta di Don Altera, Reverso Mezzano, and stepping back with my right foot. What I like about this is it's uh, kind of a defensive action because you're stepping back, and you could use this as a clear or an attack, and if you want it to clear, um, so I, I just did that. Uh, you could even not worry about edge alignment as much if you're using it to clear and if it's kind of an no oh shit moment <laughs> and do that kind of quick motion if you're not worried about range too. Uh, but I was using it as a cut so we came here uh, and I do snap it in here but you need still some range of motion for the cut and as you can see uh, you do get pretty good range on it as well a lot of lateral movement. Uh, I hope that answers any questions or gave something to, uh, for people to think about. If you have any other questions, just let me know down below and I will do my best to answer. Once again, this is just kind of uh, something that I came up with. Uh, it seems to all flow pretty well, connecting the dots from Fiori's system. So um, I like it so far. I haven't used this exact action in sparring yet, but I definitely plan to. All right. Thanks, guys.